In today's video tutorial, we're going to explain to you step by step how to replace the NV for one series screen display. What do you need? The first thing you need is a metal cleaning spray, then a container to put the screws in, baby wipes, the thermal paste, a screwdriver, a spatula, and finally a cloth. The first step is to remove the screws. Be sure to put something soft under the laptop to prevent scratches. Now you can carefully remove the bottom case. When you have removed the bottom case, it is time to unscrew the heatsink part. Once all four screws are out, you can remove the heatsink. Do this very carefully. If the copper part bends, it is not usable anymore. Now it's time to unscrew the hinges. Disconnect the screen display cable carefully. First disconnect the cable for the fan, and then the cable for the camera module. Pull up the hinges. Make sure the cables come out from under the hinges. Now carefully lift up the palm rest part and remove this part from the screen part. Take the new screen and place it in front of you. Then you can take the palm rest part again and put it back the same way. Make sure that you put the cables back properly along the hinge. Now you can push back the hinges. Reconnect the screen display cable. Also make sure that the camera module cable is properly reinserted. Gently push back the hinge. And then you can reconnect the cable for the fan. Screw back the screws, making sure they are in place with the arrows next to them. On this side equally. It is important that you remove the old thermal paste. To do this use baby wipes first. Clean both the CPU and the heatsink. When most of it is off, grab the metal cleaner. Spray the metal cleaner on the cloth. And clean the CPU and heatsink completely. Now it's time to apply the thermal paste. Put a little thermal paste on the spatula and gently wipe it out on the CPU. Put the heatsink back in place. It is important to pay close attention. The plastic flap must go well under the fan. Otherwise, you will get a ticking sound. Now you can put the screws back in place. Now that we've applied the new thermal paste, it's time to put the bottom case back in place. This was the final step. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe.